this weekend is Element API. Now, I presented it on Friday night in the presentation, but what Element API is, is, is something that can enable location-based in-app alerts and context for any application. Go ahead and next slide. Our market potential, according to the research I've done this weekend, shows about 42, or rather 52 million people that would be potentials for apps based on this API. Nielsen estimates right now that about 45% of them are smartphone users, and right now we've seen the, the biggest interest from laptop, tablet, and smartphone users. We've had about 300 people participating in our surveys over the weekend and during the week. We'll go ahead to the next one. This slide uh, puts the problem we start out with need to know now, currently implemented in a few places. Understanding context requires you to do search. Picking relevant signal from online noise is a problem. We identify our customer segments over here. There's our value proposition. We wrap up the interest tracking and alerting terms and tag extraction and location-based delivery of relevant information. The solution to those problems listed in the grid. And our, our next uh, thing that will come up here is our, our channels. Uh, we'll go through social media, paid advertising, developer outreach and evangelism and so forth to reach developers. Different revenue streams and our cost structure, although we don't have numbers attached to those yet, those are the concepts that we're looking at. And the hardest part of the grid, the unfair advantage. <laughs> with only two of us working on the team, it's, it's been kind of hard to come up with, with uh, what our unfair advantage is, but I am a serial entrepreneur. I, this is my sixth business, or will be. Business that I'm currently running has grown 70% in the past uh, eight months. So uh, we're, this actually came out of the need for my uh, main company to be able to be notified of context on news events. Go ahead. These are some of the things that we saw responses from our potential users. People want to use it to monitor stocks, bonds, insurance shops. There's the information about who, who responded with that. Sports injuries and scores. Wired into the app we saw earlier. Stock info for trading purposes. There it comes again. Next slide. More politics, potential users. Entertainment deals and coupons. And then, of course, to monitor your name. Go ahead to the next one. We've got about four or five slides here where, where we actually ask uh, several questions here about I want it on my smartphone. Next. What you're seeing is everything over toward the right side, people do want this. I can make money by knowing things ahead of my competition, next. I don't have time to search for context whenever something changes, next. I consider paying for an app that would let me know more, or know now, next. We already have some competitors in some niches. You saw at least one of them presented tonight in Saturday. Regator.com released a breaking news feed based on Adobe Air. Uh, on Friday. Most of them, as you see, though, are based on fairly narrow niches. We want to combine not only blogs, news websites, but also social media into it, as well as make it relevant by location and sign. The two, the two members of the team are myself and Surajan Kumar. He's my developer in India and a uh, master's in computer science and engineering. He's been doing a lot over the weekend off the end here. This is what we got done over the weekend, mostly marketing items. We did get a demo app done with some, at least some static pages. Let's go ahead and go from the uh, presentation to the demo app. When you log into it, what we're going to do is go ahead and yeah, click there, and you're going to be able to log, log in basically with an open ID provider. And there's a reason for this with the background database, because you're, uh, we want to have an authoritative who you are, as well as, as uh, because where we're going to tag you later on, and, and I, I can explain some more about that later. Go ahead and click. Here's, here would be a list of alerts in the web interface. Predominantly, we're just uh, we're probably going to do this for mobile, but I want to be able to show you this tonight. Just expand any one of those. Now, what you're seeing there is the actual JSON notification that came out of, of the alert. And what you would see in the app itself would be the summary of this breaking news alert, data alert information, and you'd have the, the uh, link to click. If you clicked on that, uh, on that notification, 
we'd go out and semantically pull what was in the item 